Hey ladies, it's Victoria. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Today is Tuesday. It's cycle day 18. Um, I just wanted to come on here with an update. I do have my next appointment on Thursday. Um, tonight is my last dose of the second round of Clomid this cycle at 100 milligrams. Um, I've also been taking my metformin now for five days, so tonight I go up to two pills, so I'll be on 1,000 milligrams of the metformin starting tonight. So as promised, I wanted to do a quick update for you guys and let you know how things are going. Um, I haven't really seen any major issues with the metformin other than I have to eat fairly quickly when I get up in the mornings now because I notice that my blood sugar is dropping. It's not severe. Um, I don't think I mentioned before, but this is a uh, extended release version of the metformin, so it doesn't instantly hit my bloodstream and start dropping my blood sugar and things like that. So it's not too bad, um, but it's definitely noticeable. Other than that, I haven't really had any of the side effects that they mentioned, but again, that was a low dose, so we'll see what happens when we get to 1,000 tonight, and I'll keep you guys updated, of course. Um, as far as the Clomid goes, there was definitely a marked difference in me this time with the 100 milligrams versus the 50. Now, I don't know if part of that's attributed to the fact it's the second time this cycle I've been on Clomid, or if it's just the dosage or a combination of the two, I'm not really sure. Um, but definitely my emotions have just been all over the place. Um, I'm either through the roof or through the floor. There's no in between. Um, and I've been controlling it as best I can. I mean, I'm very cognizant of what's going on, but I just can't seem to fix <laughs> how I feel. So that's been difficult. Um, and then, you know, there have been times I've snapped at my husband and I don't even mean to. And I realize the second the words come out of my mouth that it was just so wrong. And then I start crying because I'm so upset that I got mad. So it's just been kind of a vicious cycle this week. Um, and I've cried over the silliest things. The vacuum cleaner wouldn't come unplugged and I started to cry. Like, that's just kind of been the theme of the last few days. Um... Yesterday, I was having terrible, terrible pain um, in my stomach, not ovaries, unfortunately, that would have been nicer, but it was stomach pain, um, a massive Clomid headache, felt like yesterday and the day before, um, and like I said, my emotions. So this dosage was a little bit more rough than usual, but we'll take it, I mean, like I always say, whatever it takes, you know? But that's how it was for me this time with the Clomid. Um, I also bought OPKs um, yesterday. I'm shaking my head because it's now been a few minutes. So I'm looking at it and it just makes me angry. I don't know if it's just this OPK test. I think I'm going to buy another one, another kind tomorrow because this is the only kind my store had. It's like the... Equiline, which is the knockoff of Clear Blue. Um, and the research said that they're just as good, but I don't know. So, like I said, today's cycle day 18. Yesterday, it's more like you could see the indent line than anything. Um, I'll try to insert a picture of yesterday's right here. Um, if I can, if not, you guys can check that out on my Instagram. But here's today's. Like, I don't even know. Can you guys see that? Well, there's nothing to see. I mean, you can kind of see the indent line, but there's no, there's, I don't even know if there's color or if it's just the indent line. So I'm a little bit upset and I'm waving this around, sorry. Um, I'm a little bit upset about that. I thought, given how well, and that there's my problem, I was thinking. <laughs> but I thought, given how well last cycle went, that maybe we were on the right track with getting me to ovulate. 
But I also don't know if this is going to push my ovulation back now even further because I took Clomid for a second round. So I don't know how that works. I don't know if it stalls out my ovulation now for another five days from um, tomorrow, five to seven days, or if I should still ovulate as normal and this should have kick-started it. I don't know, but as you guys can clearly see, I'm sorry, it's a little blurry, but as you guys can clearly, I mean, there's, there's nothing. So I am going to buy a different kind of test tomorrow just to see. And I do have my appointment Thursday, obviously, so we'll get a good read on my LH and we'll see what the follicles are doing. I mean, last week there weren't any follicles overnight, so I don't know if maybe this month I'm just not responding. I don't know. So we'll see what's happening, but I just wanted to give you guys that quick update. I hope you all are doing really well, and I will definitely be making a video Thursday night after my appointment to go over everything with you guys. So have a good night, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!